Hello there. Today I'm tasting a Grand Cru Chablis. So uh, this is Chateau Grand Nuit, um, and it's their Grand Cru Grand Nuit from 2018. Now Chateau Grand Nuit is uh, owned by La Chablisienne, the large commune that are the largest producers of Chablis, and they own I think 7.4 hectares of the 9.4 hectare Grand Cru that is Grand Nuit. And Grand Nuit lies, lies right at the heart of the, the Grand Cru's on the north bank of the Seren River. And in fact, Grand Nuit is sandwiched between um, Vaudezur and Valmeur um, and runs down to the, it's triangular vineyard, runs down to the, the Seren River, which is possibly why it's called Grand Nuit, frogs. And um, yes, so they, they, the um, holdings that La Chablisienne have of um, Grand Nuit make them the they produce about three quarters of the wine from this particular Grand Cru, so they're very proud of this. Um, their plots have an average age of about 40 years, so these are old vines, they keep the yields down, and so this is one of their flagship wines, I would guess you'd say. The cooperative has a, a hundred years history, um, having been founded in 1923. I may have said 1926 in an early video, but it was 1923. Um, I suspect largely at the um, instigation of, of the local Catholic priest, Abbe Balletrand, um, who got a small group of um, producers together. And initially, this was so they could blend their wines and sell them on the, the wholesale market. In the 50s, the cooperative became quite revolutionary in deciding that instead of taking finished wine, they would take in must, so um, fermenting juice. Um, and so they would take control of the winemaking process themselves. This has moved on now so that they actually take um, the grapes in and control the entire production process themselves. And they have a large modern winery with plenty of capacity that enables them to, to keep uh, plots separate and to, to handle wines as, as best they see fit for their needs. So, um, you know, leading producers here. As far as the Grand Cru is concerned, you've got restricted yields, you have very classic soils, I mean these are Kimmeridgian soils, um, they're a mixture of limestone and marl, they warm up quite quickly, the um, site is a hillside site facing south, sometimes it says southeast, um, but it's, it's quite a sun trap and as a result the wines of Grand Nuit are thought to be uh, normally richer than say those of Blanchot, which tend to be lighter and more elegant. The uh, wine is hand-picked, hand unsurprisingly. The um, juice, one after pressing, is left to settle, and clean juice is fermented. Fermentation goes on in a mixture of temperature-controlled stainless steel tanks and um, barriques, so burgundy barriques, 228-litre French oak barrels. The wine does its, both its alcoholic and malolactic fermentation in these vessels and it stays for up to 20 months with its fine yeast lees, not the heavy lees but the fine yeast lees in the wine, so um, being put into suspension occasionally and that helps protect against oxidation and also helps to give uh, richness and ripeness to the wine. It, it adds body as the yeast break down. Um, it feeds sugars and proteins into, into the wine that gives a roundness to the style. So let's have a look and see, see what we make of the wine, shall we? There's a nice depth to the colour. This is a um, medium yellow colour. Um, there aren't any greenish hints. There's a, a, a real um, intensity to the colour there. We're talking about 13% alcohol. So yeah, un, unusual. I would ex expect maybe an extra half percent for the Grand Cru. Although the rules for labelling a wine allow you half percent tolerance either way, so it, it could be higher than labelled. Looking at it as I swirl it, there is reasonable viscosity, um, and I, I think that's sort of the, the intensity of the fruit, etc., because it's, it's throwing quite noticeable tears on the, the glass. So let's have a look at the aromas, shall we? See what we make of those. There's a lovely intensity, it's lovely and creamy actually. There are 
lemony notes, perhaps notes of um, the creaminess, almost like lemon curd, that sort of... The, the, there's not a, a, a lemoniness standing out. It's part of the um, the whole rich aspect of the aromas. There's perhaps a slightly saline nature as well. Just a hint of it. But yes, good intensity. Creamy notes. Lemon curd. Saline. So let's, let's have a taste and see what we make. The wine does have quite a nice weight and richness. This is at least medium bodied. There's a roundness and there's quite a, for a Chablis at any rate, quite a sort of a, a tropical fruit note. There are hints of peachiness there, um, maybe ripe pear, ripe apple, that sort of thing. That nice rounded texture of um, well integrated lazy notes um, from the yeast leaves in the in, in the wine is is again coming back to that um, sort of lemon curd sort of note. The oak is not particularly standing out. I think you do get a very well integrated note of cedar um, in behind the fruit, but it doesn't particularly stand out. The alcohol is again in, nicely in balance. The, the back palate is rounded. It's that sort of peachy fruit that is is being given a bit of weight by by the alcohol but it doesn't stand out and that's allowing that to carry through onto the finish where you've got the sort of peachiness and the lemon curd notes I suppose. The acidity is certainly fresh but actually it's sitting behind the fruit it's not standing out it's not tart um, it's it's giving a nice sort of mineral note that, that carries on through to the finish but um, in general, like I say, it's not standing out particularly. This is a wine with nice fruit intensity, lovely balance, both the acidity and the alcohol are very harmoniously in there. It's, it's relatively young, it's five years old. I mean, it's quite drinkable now, but I think you'd get far more complexity and richness um, and greater sort of individual character um, if, if this is allowed to age for another three to five years. Um, which I suppose is only to be expected for a five-year-old um, Chablis Grand Cru. So yes, this was um, Chateau Grand Nuit 2018 from La Chablisienne. So there's a Grand Cru Chablis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the, the video interesting. Um, maybe you'll get the chance to, to go out and find some Grand Nuit for, for yourself. Whatever, do leave comments either on the tasting or on the wines that you try. Um, do follow us on YouTube, but most importantly, do please take the time to come and uh, Watch another tasting sometime soon, won't you? Goodbye now.